From the heart of Barnstable, welcome to the Friday, September 12th edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Wendell Gobeil. Most Cape Cod towns have what are called employee assistance programs. Barnstable has a very special program designed to help employees become more productive. I'm Melissa Chartrand. Len Gobeil had an opportunity to speak with Bill Cole, our Human Resource Director, about Barnstable's EAP. We're with Bill Cole, Director of Human Resources for the Town of Barnstable. Recently, we looked at an employee newsletter. And in the employee newsletter was some information about the employee assistance program. And Bill's jo joining us right now to talk about the employee assistance program. Would you tell us exactly what it is? What is EAP? Great. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity to come here today. Uh, the Employee Assistance Program is a benefit that many organizations offer their employees, the Town of Barnstable being one of those organizations, that provides at no cost to the employee a uh, program that would allow them to talk to a, a neutral, confidential outside party if they're having any kind of uh, social issue, uh, marital, financial, legal um, situation at work, substance abuse. So it would allow them to contact this outside confidential uh, entity and uh, seek help uh, without, without the employer knowing about it, but giving them a chance to help themselves. It, it, of what benefit is the EAP? Um, there are many benefits to EAP. Uh, the first benefit is that just by an organization putting the investment into habit shows to its employees that it does care about them and it does give them this opportunity uh, to seek help if and when they need it. So even if an employee doesn't need it at that time, it's always a cushion and a benefit to know that it's there for them. Also, it helps employees that are, do, that are going through some difficulty to go out and seek help and try to head it off before it becomes a major issue that, that further impacts their family or their work performance. Uh, and lastly, it's a resource for the town because it allows us uh, as managers and supervisors to have a sounding board outside of the organization to bounce ideas off of. Let's assume for a moment that I have a particular problem. It's a family problem, it's an alcohol problem, it's whatever, yep. a financial problem. I don't want you to know about my problems. Yep. Um, I don't want my supervisor to know about my problems. How do I contact EAP and is it, how confidential is it? Uh, it is extremely confidential. What you would do is the town has publicized uh, the way to contact EAP. There's, a, there's an 800 number, there's also a website, but the 800 number is the best way to get a hold of uh, EAP uh, network, which is the particular company we use. But in your situation, you would call the 800 number, uh, explain to them that you work for the town of Barnstable, and, and you don't have to get into a lot of detail, but briefly explain the type of situation that you're having. And uh, within 24 hours, in some cases within 12 hours, you would receive a phone call back from a professional that specializes in that area, uh, and they would work you through the problem, setting you up with interviews, setting you up uh, whatever you need uh, at no charge and that the beauty from your perspective is is that your boss and the town wouldn't know. Uh, it's completely confidential. So this has nothing to do with the town's insurance, uh, nothing to do with my personal insurance. Um, I may be an uh, older person, I may be on Medicare or Social Security, but I'm still working. Yep. Um, it, it, it doesn't cost me anything. Right. Uh, the, the other beauty of the program is it's available to employees and also their families. Um, and then for the first several visits. It's something they would work out with you, but in some cases it's six, ten visits. There's no charge. If it's something that may uh, stretch out into a more prolonged relationship, uh, there may be a cost associated with it, but in some cases insurance would pick it up. But for the most part, situations can be addressed in that short number of visits with no cost to the employee. In essence, this is an insurance paid by the town? That's one way of looking at it, yes. How much does this cost the town? Um, on, av on average, uh, the rates have not gone up. It's between eighteen and twenty thousand a year. That it's uh, out of pocket for the town. Yes, but it's good for the employees. Absolutely. Kim Connors of our Weights and Measures Department would like to offer you some tips about how to be a better consumer at a gas pump. Um, confirm that the octane rating and the price per gallon are clearly marked on each pump. A lot of times, we do have customers complain and say, "I didn't see an octane." Uh, you know, whether it was an 87, 89, or whatever. Um, park your vehicle so you can observe the pump at a full service station. And a lot of people ask me why. Well, yeah. if, you want to if it's a full service station, you're not the one getting out, and you're the, not the eyes watching that pump or that LED, the little lit screen. You're trusting that service person to do that for you. You want to make sure that that starts out at zero and 
also when the, the actual pumping is done that nothing is creeping after, which I will tell you about in a moment. You want to make sure it's a clean sale. Always make sure that the pump starts at zero for both the gallons and dollars at the amount of, uh, excuse me, at the moment of activation. It's a good idea to activate the pump and wait 10 or 15 seconds and make sure there aren't any what we call jumps. Oh, and you Very, that. very common, probably the most common complaint we get. I went in, I activated the pump, put, put it on, even before I started pumping, it jumped eight cents. Um, this is a common thing that happens if you're the first customer of the day or if it's a very cold day. It's very, very common. It's, a jump is basically when a meter starts running before you have actually started to pump the product. Uh, the other thing is topping off. A lot of people, especially uh, full service stations, the old days, well, if you said, you know, fill her up and it came to 1982, oh, yeah, they, they'd crank it up to 20, 20 because they sure. don't want yep. to make the change. Well, those days are long gone for the most part because a lot of consumers do pay with credit card or you're doing it by yourself. Um, the majority of times when they're doing that, it's backwashing it back into their system. It's not a good practice. So when, the, when it clicks, it clicks. That's the end of it. And you should, you should try to tell somebody, and I tell people all the time, don't top it off. When it stops, it stops. And it stops for a reason. When you're done with your actual purchase, you have to watch for a creep. And a lot of people say, hmm, meaning when you have hung up your nozzle, make sure that the meter does not continue to record gallons and dollars. And you're being charged for that. That could be a mechanical problem. Um, if you feel as though that it should be brought, brought to somebody else's attention within that retail establishment, then take it there. We should always be notified of the problem. One of the things that we get, um, you know, a lot of the complaints, and they'll say, well, I don't know what pump I was on. I don't remember what octane. We, and the more information for us, the better. What pump, what time of day, tell us as soon as possible. Did you speak to anybody? Do you want us to call you back? Do you have an itemized receipt? That's another thing when you're finished, especially with your credit card uh, purchases. Review it. How many gallons did you get? Was it the right price per gallon? What, was it calculated correctly? Um, I've had complaints about that. Uh, printed receipts, they have to give you a printed receipt. A lot of times people say, I didn't get a printed receipt, yeah, the paper, paper was out. Yeah, a lot of times. Then you'll have to go in. Well, that's technically a non-conforming device, but we don't really, you know, they've run out of paper, they run out of paper. Um, once again, if you suspect a problem, notifying us as soon as possible is it's obviously better. The more information, the better. And usually within 24 hours, we're on, on the scene and we're investigating what the problem is. And we'll always get back to the consumer if they want, or they can leave it anonymously. That's fine. Uh, What's the best way for people to get in contact with you? Well, the best way to contact us is we do have a direct line with the Town of Barnstable Regulatory Services. And that number is area code 508. 862-4671, or you can get us on the web, go to the Town of Barnstable website, to Regulatory Services, link to Consumer Affairs, and then Weights and Measures. We have a reminder from the Recreation Department that the Handicapped Hooked on Fishing Tournament will take place Saturday. That's tomorrow at Dallas's Beach. Begins at 10.30 a.m. and will run through 12.30. Our Handicapped Accessible Fishing Pier will be the location and registration is still available on site. Free bait will be available. This weekend's weather will be a mixture of clouds and some sun. Tonight showers are likely with temperatures in the mid-60s. Saturday will be cloudy in the morning with skies clearing up. However, later in the day and on Saturday night there is about a 60 percent chance of rain. And by the way, tonight's sunset will be at 6.57 p.m. On the meeting front, there are no meetings tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Chartrand. Please join us again Monday. I'm Len Gobiel.